Well, what's going on folks and welcome back to TRF. My goal here on this channel is to help you guys become better bass anglers and catch more fish, whether you are a bass boat fisherman, a kayak fisherman, or you fish from the bank. My channel is for everybody. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my first look at the brand new LVS34 transducer, also known as LiveScope Plus. Forward-facing sonar is definitely a controversial topic in the fishing industry, but I love using it as a tool to help me catch more bass anywhere I go across the country. And in today's video, you're gonna see some awesome fish catches with my camera on the screen showing you exactly what smallmouth bass look like on the new LiveScope Plus. I took my Skeeter up to Tulsa, Oklahoma and the good folks at the Bass Tank helped me rig my Skeeter with the brand new LiveScope Plus transducer. If you guys are in the market for any kind of fish finder, Lowrance, Hummingbird, Garmin, and any price point, the Bass Tank is the place for you. And if you want your boat rigged right and not have wires sticking out janky everywhere, the Bass Tank in Tulsa is the place for you to go. So I'm proud to partner with them. You guys see the Bass Tank carpet decal up there in every single video, I am proud the Bass Tank has a hand in helping build my boat. Whatever your opinion is of this video, I hope that you enjoy me and my wife catching some awesome smallmouth bass and showing you exactly what it looks like on the screen. Let's get on the water. Got the camera down, now y'all can see what I'm seeing on the old LiveScope Plus. So as always, I run my depth on the right side there on manual. So if I point the transducer too deep, you won't see anything because I don't need it that deep. Hey guys, Tyler here checking in from the editing bay behind me. I'm gonna clarify one thing real quick. This video is not going to cover any specific settings with my LiveScope Plus unit and the update. I'm gonna link an awesome video from my friends over at Wired to Fish. Jason Seelock did a great video going over some of the best settings for the new LiveScope Plus. My video is going to focus more on the practical things that I immediately noticed during this first look compared to my old LiveScope transducer and system. The two main ones being the target separation, which basically means the amount of space in between the fish you're targeting and the cover they're sitting on. And the second thing is going to be the overall sharpness I see on the screen. From the bottom composition, especially when it comes to rocks and grass, all the way to debris and dirt in the water, I can really tell what's a fish and what's not. With that said, let's get back on the water. I love, I love how clear it is now when you see a fish. Like up there, 80 feet on the right. Two fish, three fish right there. There they are, right there on the right side. Oh yeah, holy cow. There they are, 50 feet out. Right there, drop shot is falling at 50. And anything gonna chase it down? Nothing really. Oh my gosh. Those are all smallmouth over there. We are in business. There's no way those are all smallmouth. Zoom a little shallower. They are smallmouth. They are smallmouth. I think they're mostly small though. <laughs> awesome. Let's go. Man, that's an image on the screen. That's a lot of smallies. Chill, 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 chill. Ouch, 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 ouch. ouch. All right. Nice job. Let's get back out there. Hannah, there are so many smallmouth, it is berserk. Those marks on the right side look a little bigger. And if those are smallmouth, that's a mega school. I cast 80 feet out, falling right there. 65. I'm in that school somewhere. I got one. Oh, Hannah's got one. Yes, she got one. Her slow approach back there made it happen. See, some of these are smallies, just yeah. not all of them. He's not bad. That's a nice one. Nice little smallie, Hannah. I got him. Yes, you did. Cool. Want to touch him goodbye? Bye-bye. Bye, buddy. <laughs> oh, but the ones that I'm casting at, look at that. Come on now. You've caught how many fish? Three? No, total today. Four? So with four. There's one. Got him. Out of that school in front of me. So what we're seeing, folks, on the screen, see him right there? Oh my goodness, 35 feet. <laughs> He's near the top of the water. And none of his friends came with him. None of his friends came with him. So these are all small mouth. They're just small and hard to get to bite, which you wouldn't think that would be the case. But I can definitely tell all these fish individually on the first version of the live scope, I would have seen like a blob of fish that I probably would have thought was bait fish, especially with how small these smallies are. But I will take smallies all day. Don't care the size. Thank you, my friend. Like to the right of me. Yep.
There's one. Nice. Got him. Nice. Let's get a double up. Let's get a double up, sweetie. Right, this is awesome. This is awesome. I think this one's a little bit bigger. Yeah, a little bigger. There we go. Also doesn't mess up your drop shot weight when you uh, get him in the net. That one's a little bit bigger. A little nicer of a fish right there. Cool, and he got it a little bit deep, so we're gonna use the deep trick. Ploop. There's my jerk bait on the top at 55, 50. A little bit shallow. These fish don't seem to want to come up for one that's only four feet beneath the surface. Oh, here comes one. Here comes one. Oh, and he backed away. See, smallmouth are weird like that. Here comes one from 45 up to look at it. We're going to jerk it fast. And he just, he went away. That is so weird. Oh, he's back. Oh, lost my jerk bait. There it is. And nothing wanted it on that cast. I see some what looks like bigger marks 65 feet out. So let's go ahead and there I am at 75. Perfect. There he is. There he is. Oh, he's coming back for it. See, if these fish were in like a feeding mood, man, they'd all be they'd all be fighting for it. But I can't get anything to even touch it. Look at all those small mouth. They won't even touch it. Got him. There we go. Cool. <laughs> There's a few on beds in this area. That's awesome. Did not expect that. Well, now I'm gonna look for individual little dots down there. Because there's a few bed fish left. Gosh. There we go. That one will go almost four, probably. Man. Look at the size of this fish. Man. Oh, man. The absolute proportions of these fish are awesome. Similar to St. Lawrence. I guess all Great Lakes fish that are built like this. Just awesome. One's following me down. Got him. That one followed me down. Awesome. Love it. Y'all can see him right there. He's coming up. Looks like a big one. Is it big? Yes. Beautiful fish. Mm-mm-mm. Droppy, droppy shot. There are just so many stinking fish down there. And they're all like that. Mmm. As the wife says, ew. Oh yeah, see out there at 65 feet, there's a few really big, deep marks. I cast out there, 65 feet, it's about 65. Perfect, falling at 70, that's where they are now. Oh, come on. Do it for me. Do it for me, turn around. Oh, one's going down to it. One's going down. He's on the bottom now. I don't know where he is now, but... I'm just feeling now. So I, I saw him on live scope, and now I'm just, now I'm just hopping and feeling. He's still there. I see him now. He's hanging on those boulders. I'm gonna reel in, cast to those boulders just beyond it. Falling down on the boulders. Beautiful. That's the cool thing about this new plus. I can see my weight and my bait, not just a blob anymore. So I can see if a fish is following my weight down or my bait. And sometimes I'll switch to a Ned rig if I see them following my weight down. Because that's a fish that wants something on the bottom. And a lot of the stuff you see on the bottom right now is actually grass stalks, not fish. I'm sure there's tons of fish mixed in right there, but a lot of this in front of me is grass. I knew that was one, right out there in the grass. Just made enough casts into the grass and got one. There he is, down there at 30 now. He's bringing a friend with him, behind him. A yeah, he's got a friend with him. Where? Right behind him, I can't see him now. Oh, here he is, there he is, there he is. Right, oh, that was not the flip you wanted right there. That's okay. His friend is gone now. 
And on a spot like this, it's really all about just making enough casts out there because there's so many fish. Some are going to bite, some are not. It's just amazing how much clearer everything is. The fish, the stalks of grass. Look at my drop shot going down. You see the weight and the, and the bait. Oh, there's a fish following it down. Well, he followed and then turned. And now he wants it no more. <laughs> it's the grass and the rocks that I'm really impressed with. I could always see fish, but now I can see grass and rocks and cover just really well. I like to, just personally in my settings, I like to have it kind of squished into the top of the screen because it actually takes the fish that are uh, vertical blobs and makes them more circular blobs. So it makes it easier for me to see if a fish is a fish. There I am following 60. Oh, whoa. Somebody drop a brush pile? Holy cow. I have never seen that before in New York. That is, I mean, New York, Wisconsin. That's like a stinking brush pile. Wow, that's crazy. I've never, I didn't even know they had brush piles here. Y'all can definitely tell uh, that's, that's a tree, it's leaning left. Yeah. Oh gosh. I'm gonna catch this one. Come on, eat it. How am I not catching this fish? There was, there was aggressive ones. He came back for it, he came back for it. Yes, we got him. Oh, that was awesome. There we go. Finally got us one. Took us stinking long enough. Hopefully y'all could see that guy shot down for it. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this first look at Live Scope Plus. I guess it might not be a first look, at least first look on my channel. <laughs> There's been many looks on other channels. LiveScope is a tool that I use to help me catch more fish. There are many different opinions about forward-facing sonar, but I absolutely love it because it allows me to make more memories like this. If you want to see an awesome uncut style, cameras rolling, never stops video, two and a half to three hours of awesome smallmouth action, I will leave that up here in this corner. My name's Tyler, and we'll see you guys next time right here on TRF.